due to conservation of angular momentum. Gas falling into the gravitational well created by a massive object will typically form a disc-like structure around the object. Artists' impressions such as the accompanying representation of a black hole with corona commonly depict the black hole as if it were a flat space body hiding the part of the disc just behind it. But in reality gravitational lensing would greatly distort the image of the accretion disc. Quote, Within such a disc, friction would cause angular momentum to be transported outward, allowing matter to fall farther inward, thus releasing potential energy and increasing the temperature of the gas. When the accreting object is a neutron star or a black hole, the gas in the inner accretion disk orbits at very high speeds because of its proximity to the compact object. The resulting friction is so significant that it heats the inner disk to temperatures at which it emits vast amounts of electromagnetic radiation, mainly X-rays. These bright X-ray sources may be detected by telescopes. This process of accretion is one of the most efficient energy-producing processes known. Up to 40% of the rest mass of the accreted material can be emitted as radiation. In nuclear fusion only about 0.7% of the rest mass will be emitted as energy. In many cases, accretion disks are accompanied by relativistic jets that are emitted along the poles, which carry away much of the energy. The mechanism for the creation of these jets is currently not well understood, in part due to insufficient data. As such, many of the universe's more energetic phenomena have been attributed to the accretion of matter on black holes. In particular, active galactic nuclei and quasars are believed to be the accretion disks of supermassive black holes. Similarly, X-ray binaries are generally accepted to be binary star systems in which one of the two stars is a compact object accreting matter from its companion. It has also been suggested that some ultraluminous X-ray sources may be the accretion disks of intermediate mass black holes. In November 2011 the first direct observation of a quasar accretion disk around a supermassive black hole was reported.